Hello and welcome everyone to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we got a call from the paralysis and uh, a weird potential break-in happened. We found out that the security firm they hired might be behind at least some of it. And, and now we have to chase the surveillance van. We also got a call from Judy. She wants to take over Clouds with the mocks and I'm all for it. So now in order to chase the van, or potentially chase the van, Johnny pointed out that we might need some wheels. Got the wheels. Let's get to the van. Oh no, we have crosshairs. Oh, it's gone. That was a little bit annoying. Oh boy. Keep the little wiggle. V. Try not to. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here. V. Yeah. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Please get some music and set up some. Maybe even help bring him down. I can't change it. Why does it always change my. Maybe a station. Oh boy, I didn't see that car. You look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. This can't end well, Johnny. Yeah, this is not good news. They probably set up a an ambush point. Now we got some new ones. went dark near your position fine keep an eye out for unknown reasons the coordinates came through corrupted so I'm unable to determine the precise location yeah bad timing what I'm gonna follow the cables There's another one. Jeez. You're here. I know you are. Oh, you saw me. Oh, look at this. This is full, full of people.
Okay. Let's use the gorilla hand. Yes! That was fun. Okay. Bring it on, everyone. I've got my sniper rifle that we got from Pan. Go, go, go! Oh, there. Got him. And here I thought this day it'd be a dust. Oh, where did they all come from? Mainly I've been doing a pretty good job with the stealth, so... It's okay that we mess it up this time. Where's this guy? Okay, let's take our time now. I think we're good. It was a little bit weird how we uh Let me please not. Turn it all off. There's an access point. Those are here. Oh, there. Well, let's look at the van, though. No, not the cables. Van. Let's see. Pierce did. We're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Uh huh. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity, some kind of database, brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. First yeah. Neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. I mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit fuck! Job. Fuck me. Yeah. Got other exactly. guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Liberty Patel? Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Well, we'll probably find out. Um, Elizabeth, we have bad news. V, do you have any news? Oh. Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh... It's way bigger than we thought. Yep. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. What? I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending okay. you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Hey, the ramen shop. You did level up. That's nice. Let's check in here. Once C. 55 
BD 7A 1C. There we go. Okay. Let's see where the ramen shop is, how far away. Pick up the stuff here quickly. stuff well let's get out of here pretty far away so where where exactly are we we ha also have a level up Ah, I think I want to continue going further into cool. But I think for this... Hmm. Could go into cold blood. Or I go further into breach control. Reduces the quick hack cost by additional one RAM. Mass vulnerability better. Data mine. More damage. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. How's the map look? There's a Dalamane there. Oh, okay. So this is right here. Uh, Judy is probably somewhere. Else. Yeah, Judy is. Uh, that is actually works out pretty well, right? So we can do that and then take care of Judy's. Now I wanted to check if the Regina quests are fixed now. So let us try that out. investigation guys known for operating in the gray zone no scruples about working with mercs attach more deeds for you okay thievery Clandis Aaron uh, McCarrison NCPT sergeant used to work for me as a consultant on the show cops and chops Eight seasons and is asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging into Maelstrom for a while now. Says he found the warehouse where they torture people, but you know how it is for badges. Law slows them down with mountains of paperwork, so if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that, which is why instead of waiting for fat ass judges to grant him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Drop simple, get into the warehouse, uh, steal the security cam footage and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if you happen to shoot a few maelstromers along the well, way, well, shit happens, right? Wouldn't want to uh, be worse off without them. Okay, so it seems to be fixed. This is awesome. This gets me pumped. I mean, we can do the Watson quests. The sniper there. Let's breach protocol. Nine people. Oh, he's down. Nice. Very nice. Let's check in. 55 BD 
55. 55, 55, BD. You have no E9 though. Yeah. Oops. Hmm. You also freed the former leader of the uh, uh, of Maelstrom way back. Wonder when that will come into play. I'm sure it will at some point. Let's see. E9, 55, 55, PD, E9. Oof, that's not great. Let's go with BD then. Seven, A. E9. Oh, then nothing. I like that you kind of can lean around the corners. That's really cool. Right. This dude there. There's another dude. Didn't see them. Ah. One upstairs. Okay. Coming down now. Short circuit. Very nice. Find the footage. Probably upstairs. Ooh, that's a big gun. I'm so happy that the bug is fixed. Hey, what do we have? Company closed. Unfortunately, despite numerous initiatives aimed at reducing our operative guests, including extra commitment from our workers, we have ended this quarter with a loss. In light of the results, bearing in mind the multiple threats of violence from our competitors, one of the directors has decided to liquidate the company's assets. We kindly request that all employees empty our desks out their desks and drawers before 8 p.m., after which we will hand over the building's keys to its owner. The computer, the company's remaining capital, will be paid out in dividends to the company's directors. All of all other employees will receive coupons for selected products in all food stores, equivalent equivalent to the value of each employee's weekly salary. Read carefully. A certain corporal entered the net one night when suddenly everything ditched and encountered a red demon who said, Tomorrow at midnight you will be dead. The corporal did not place any faith in the threat. Oh, the scare mail.
components. Um, okay. 7A. 55 BD 7A 1C Okay, let's get out of here Nice Let's bring over the data. What's going on here? Mr. McCarlson? Lovely place. It's like they forgot people live here. Got the scrolls. Oh, V! <laughs> Thought you were another one of those Serenity Bible whack jobs. Come in. Ah, not so, quite. Hit any snags along the way? Let's take a picture. Nope. Might as well have been a ghost. I'll get you to a quiet job, huh? I'll try to. Don't show off. I admire that. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop, huh? Yeah, for, your, for the investigation, right? These scrolls are for some kind of investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Real big stink, mind you. But thanks to your help, I can give it a push. Here, take them. Great work. I'll spread the word you do solid merc work. Coming from Aaron McCarlson, that'll go far. Thanks. I'm sure it will. Take care. All right. Nice doing business with you. I don't want to go that far down. Oof. Sweet. Happy. Hi, I'm Regina. Happy. Good to talk I'm to you again. Always to be on good terms with badges, right? Gigs closed. Eddie's on their way. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's quickly check our inventory. Or not? Sometimes when you are when you're standing in front of it, you can't interact with your inventory. Just bizarre, but. All things to get uh, considered also not too terrible. Um, how does that look? Probably terrible. Yeah, it does look. Not that the cap is like super fashionable, but all the best is better. We're going away from the super red again. <laughs> Yeah, showing off the guns a little bit. I like this. Mm, look. Those. Don't think I can expect the mods. At this point, we can just dismantle these. Hey. Go for some sunglasses.
Honestly, I think it's time to not wear a cap anymore. Alright. Maybe not have these on. What about the glasses? Ah, uh, they're... I don't know. I actually don't mind these. I think these looks, look pretty cool and fitting for... And the color is a little bit questionable here, but... It'll do. Shorts. Get rid of some of these. Don't think we will switch away from Johnny's boots. Alright. Well, uh, let's sell some junk. Quite a bit. Let's have a look at the map now. Oh, the Delamain cap is... There is one right around the corner. So that is great. And we want to do that. Well, obviously we now have like so many quests here left. So maybe we will take like a an episode or two where we just do these. But I, I'm not sure if there are... Um time-sensitive quests and I kind of want to at least do the ones that we're kind of involved in already from the people who directly call us uh, and then maybe at least I don't want to waste too much time on the way there that's that's my point actually let's get our car again spreading the love between our vehicles a little bit I'm the Slow down. Leave me be. These are bizarre. I love them. plenty of cars that look a little flashier but I have to say our standard car I really like the look of it I'm not sure if I have to ram him or if you okay I think you got him well here you have it oh, man. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Perfect. Truck therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're all the way out here now. Uh, there's another car. Rescue the person. 
We have the ramen shop. Maybe we'll do... We'll rescue this person and then make our way to the ramen shop. We need work for Elizabeth. Cat? No. That's not what I want. No, oh, this is also not what I want. This one. Thanks. Some intense music. I love it. Park our car somewhere. Makako, Kofi. Blackbeard. Child, I have a grave task for you. The little oh. kind. The net runner is still alive, but what happens to her is either a matter of time oh, that's or the net runner discretion. Uh, that bugbear is trapped in yeah. the net. If she jacks out, the tiger claws stand ready, waiting like vultures to tear her to shreds. That was the net runner that Wakaku made a deal with. Then also made a deal with the tiger claws. Counting on you, v. See the details attached. Okay, that is cool that they built on each other like that. Uh, used to be Bugbear and the Tigers got along. They were supposed to work at Kiroshi's warehouse job together, but she left them out to dry. Revoti drove out a van packed with high end gear and abandoned them inside. To death, but those Tigers are a tough crew. You know how stubborn they can be. The next day, they pulled up to the, her apartment, wanting to know where she stashed the tag. Buckwell was desperate, escaped to the net, shouted herself in soft that flatlined her if they tried to disconnect her. Of course, now they just have to watch the clock tick. Eventually, Buckwell will have to come out or risk trying her own synapses. The tigers are patient, especially in the matters of revenge. Personally, I think they like it more this way. Get Buckwear out of there and give word I'll send transport. But remember to disconnect her safety. She's useless to be dead. Get that. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do here. Some tiger claws there. Just be quiet and don't show your face. I jack her out, Mika. I mean, how long did this go on? Do you want to change? Yeah. Oh. This is about principles, not good.
Some fried ants. BD1C. Oh boy. Messed that one up. Oops. And I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well, anyway. Reboot optics. Ooh, takes quite some time. What the? Come with me, buddy. And put you to your friend. Wait. Just a matter of time till she finds out she's trapped. Then she's out. Wait, do not disconnect. Cool me down or I'm barbecued. Take coolant from bathroom. Okay. Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her. How's it going? You jack her out? Akaya gonna need more time. Time boss. We can force disconnect, but then she won't tell us anything. Gotta find someone who knows how Bugbear works, who knows her. Got any runners who had contact her? There she is. Coolant. There you go. Let's take a picture. Um, now disconnect her. Where do I do that? Here? Saw me there. Can I put that down? Will you come out alone? I Good thing I have so much RAM. Three, two, one. How am I supposed to get her down here? I don't think I can jump down here. Oh! Is she dead? Alright. She's fine. We jumped into the trash bags. Okay. Well done, my dear. Thank you. 
I am pleased. As they say, we will be in touch. Contract closed. I like Vokako. Hey, more street cred. I like it. Um, now let's go to the ramen shop. Let's actually walk this time. We mostly have been driving. We're not following the cables. Let's just hope we don't get run over. Let's hope for the best. Children out there, please don't do that. But then again, children should watch this game anyway, so... What are you doing here, children? Meet up with Elizabeth. What did... What? I'm stuck in here? A different path. Like... Can't be the only way. Oh boy. This is my ankle. Better. This is a different quest. That's the one that is very high danger. So, staying away from that for now. Oh boy, what's this now? I think some assets need to be lo loaded in there. I think things are there now. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck. In some kind of texture. Okay. I think it's fine though. It's interesting that she wanted to meet with us. On her own. What? Oh, there she is. Will you sit? Oh. Please. He's all undercover. Okay. Thank you for coming. Uh, usual place for a meeting. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Something... Has something happened since we last met? It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Take a time. Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious, and not just with Jeff. Notice any changes yourself? Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. 
That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So you knew what I was going to find. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. I find that terrifying. Oh yeah, that is horrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Yeah, that must be terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I got nothing out of it. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. Did you cut a deal with him? And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. So you were lying the whole time. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. But you're just saying what you've been programmed to say. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... But, but like, him. not telling him that someone is mind-controlling him. Yeah, I really want to keep living a lie? Damn it, Elizabeth. You're gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. What if I'm not on board? And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. That's all I can promise. Ooh. That's a tough Goodbye, choice to make. Damn it. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? 
Yeah, I'm very fucked up. Pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking but, hey, about. At least we know what we're up against. Who? No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. What would you have done? So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters Yeah, can pull. exactly. That's also but Yeah, bad. you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice. That's the thing. Like, it's... On, on one hand, it's obviously their... Um their lives at stake but then again like just not telling someone that they're mind controlled living a lie that seems wrong and also like johnny pointed out like what kind of harm would a mind controlled mayor do right so we will meet with them oh we'll probably have to think about that but I think next we will meet up with Judy. And we will try to take down Clouds and the Woodman. Which I'm excited about because after all we know, the Woodman is a real grade A bastard and we need and deserve revenge what happened to Evelyn. So, let's see. The miners were able to immediately return to work. Moving from below the earth Can't go to, to the roof? It, Militech has announced plans okay. to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. That is a terrifying veggie man. Oh, Panna. Talk. Talk. I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? I'm on my way. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Oh, boy. All our friends are in trouble, including ourselves. We are also always in trouble. So, that is something we have to do. Taking care of Pan Am. Or not taking care of. She can take care of herself, but helping her. But I think we will take a break here and then we will continue with Cyberpunk 2077 next time. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. That all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. If you want to go above and beyond in your support, you can check out the Patreon link down below. And I will be back with more Cyberpunk 2077 very soon. Until then, have a great time.